Hey guys, it is Michelle and I am here with my April wrap-up and May TBR. My April wrap-up is going to feel very different because every time I finish three books I am now publishing a video and uh, doing the review on them. It's more timely that way and the videos are not nearly as long in length. It's easier for me and easier for you guys as well. So I am simply, for what I read in April, going to list the book and the rating I gave it. And there's either already a video out there or there will be within a week um, to discuss my thoughts on the book. First up is Chew Volume 2 by John Lehman and Rob Giori. This is a graphic novel series and it is funny and fast-paced and hilarious. And I gave it five stars, Volume 2. Next up was Hero of Ages by Brandon Sanderson. This is the third book in the Mistborn trilogy, and I don't see how any fantasy series could ever top that ending. I, yeah, I just, I don't see how it, it could ever be possible. I gave this five stars. This series is on my favorite shelf. I don't think anything could ever compare. Then I read Station Eleven by Emily St. John Mandel. I loved the writing. I loved the apocalyptic tale and how civilization collapsed. And I gave this five stars. It was a good reading month. Then I read Au Revoir, Crazy European Chick by Joe Schreiber. And this book is probably targeted towards teenage boys. And seeing as how I'm neither, I didn't super enjoy it, but I did enjoy it, and I gave it three stars. I think if you're in that target audience, you'll appreciate it a whole lot more than I did. But there was nothing wrong with it. It was fun and fast-paced, um, just not targeted at me. I knew that going in, though. Then I read Unlocked and Lock In by John Scalzi. This is a prequel novella and a novel, and it centers around a disease, and this was fascinating. John Scalzi has thought out this disease and what the world would be like with this disease in it so well. I am just blown away by his writing style, and I gave both the novella and the novel five stars. Next up was for the right to learn, our Malala Yousafzai's story. And this is a picture book that is coming out in September, at least is the re release date right now. And it is targeted for 9 to 11 year olds. I got this through NetGalley and the publisher Capstone Publishing, and I loved it. Um, I gave it five stars. The artwork is so appropriate for this age level. The story is just so important for this age level. And I really, when this comes out in September, want to get a physical copy and read it to my classes every year because I think they need to know her story and they need to see that education is not the same everywhere. And that maybe what they have instead of a burden is a privilege. I don't know. This, that's the teacher in me coming out, of course. I ended up giving it five stars, of course. Then I picked up A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab. And this is a fantasy series. This is the beginning of it, of course. That involves a man who can travel between alternative versions of London. There are very few people that can travel in between. He's only supposed to carry letters and information, but he's kind of smuggling items that gets him into trouble. This one was not my cup of tea. Um, I ended up giving this two stars. I think it is suffering a little bit by comparison to Mistborn, but I just found all kinds of problems and just really did not enjoy the style of this book. So I'll talk about more about that in a future video. Also, in a future video, you will hear about The Girl with the Magic Hands by Nettie Okorafor. This is a short story that she wrote, and it's about a young girl who lives in a small village, and she is unhappy, her parents are unhappy, but then she has a, a sort of magical realism encounter that introduces art into her life and just enhances her life in general, and it was a very cute story. And even the next day, as I was thinking about it, there were more layers to it than that, and I was just so impressed that later on when I started to analyze it, there was a lot more to it than was just in the surface of the story. So I ended up giving it four stars and really enjoyed it. So that wrapped up my April. In May, I'm going to really scale back my TBR. I have just really felt trapped since I've started doing TBR lists by what I am reading. I get a lot of enjoyment out of like spur of the moment decisions on what I'm going to read, and really by doing the long TBRs. I have kind of stolen that for myself and stolen a little bit of the enjoyment of reading. What I have been reading is quality, and I have enjoyed the reading experience, but I've just had this kind of like, 
trapped spring fever kind of a feel going on with what I've been reading. So I'm only going to have a few books on my May TBR. First up for the Read Harder 2015 challenge, I want to read What Everybody is Saying by Joe Navarro. This is going to fill the self-help book um, section of that challenge. And he's a former FBI agent who is kind of a specialist in nonverbal communication. And so this book is about how to speed read body language. I've already picked up one tip from here and started using it. And it's kind of fascinating. So hoping to pick more tips up from it. I also want to get to two volume three, Just Desserts, obviously by John Lehman and Rob Geary again, hoping it's just as disgusting and funny and action packed as the first two. The Year of Cosmere group is reading Elantris by Brandon Sanderson. And it sounds fascinating about a story. I mean, about a city that was very magical, the beings in it could do no wrong, um, and anybody could turn into one of these buildings, but 10 years ago something went very wrong. So very interesting to discover what Brandon Sanderson has in store for us there. If I have time, I will get to The Emperor's Soul, which is a sequel novella. That one might have to wait till June, we'll see. And probably the book I'm most excited about on my May TBR is Regulation 19 by P.T. Hilton. He's a fellow booktuber I'm going to link his channel below, but he's written this novel about a man um, who was in prison at the beginning and gets out and kind of has to uncover what is going on. There are some strange things going on. I started reading this briefly last night. I am already invested in it. If you have not checked out P.T. Hilton's channel, I highly recommend that you do, especially his 2014 reading wrap-up. He basically did reviews of his favorite books of 2014 in the form of a song where he's playing guitar and writing the lyrics, singing the lyrics that he wrote. It is fascinating. So there you have it, my April wrap up and my May TBR. If there's anything on my May TBR that you would like to buddy read, just let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching and happy reading.